hey guys welcome to the class uh, this session is about uh, errors there is a discussion here we are going to have is about errors and generally error means we'll say a mistake uh, or it is a bug so which leads to some unexpected output or unappropriate output okay so it leads to some inappropriate output or an unexpected output so that is what an error here and the uh, major focus is on syntax and logical errors in compilation so first we should know what is a syntax then what is a syntax error then we can go for this logical and logical errors okay so starting from syntax syntax means uh, it is a set of rules for writing a words that is to be structured so whenever we are writing a program okay so we need to follow some uh, rules there are some rules which which are to be followed while writing a program so if that rules are violated okay so if that rules are not followed or violated then we will get all these syntax errors so now we will see what are all the types of syntax errors that is when a syntax error can occur for example uh, when we have when we are leaving some small grammatical mistakes in a program while writing a program when we have some grammatical mistakes in that program then it leads to a syntax error then if we are missing semicolon at appropriate places okay wherever the semicolon is necessary so instead of uh, placing that semicolon uh, we are just uh, missing it and at that place we will get some syntax error then wherever the comma is required we will miss that comma so at that time we will be notified with the syntax error then uh, coming to quotation mark so for example if you are writing anything in a print of statement okay so we are, we are writing something in print of statement and in that print of statement uh, whatever the uh, statement that you are writing inside this print of so we will be written it with double quotes only okay so if we uh, have missed this double quotes okay so without giving this double quotes if we are placing some statements in the inside this print of statement and this will lead to some syntax error okay because we are just violating the rules here whenever we are using print of statement and whatever is written inside this print of statement that should be written within the double quotes so if that rule is violated then we will get this syntax error the next one is extra brackets so wherever the bracket uh, is not necessary but still we have kept some extra brackets okay so in the same print of example here we have only one open bracket and close bracket so if i am placing one extra open bracket or if i am placing one extra close bracket then this will lead to some syntax error again coming to misspelling so misspelling means we are using some keywords in this c language where we have some keywords like uh, the data types we can say so for integer type of data we have to use int for character type of data we have the char character char keyword and if suppose instead of writing it as int i'm just writing it as integer okay or if uh, instead of writing it as char char i'm just writing it as a character okay if i'm giving uh, keywords like this that is if i'm using some misspelling words here then this will lead to a syntax error we can say take the same print of statement if i am giving um, print just print instead of print f i am giving print so if i am giving like this then i will be notified with the syntax error here that is i have missed f here right so these are all some of the examples we can give for syntax error the next is the logical error so when this logical error occurs means whenever we are doing any logical mistakes okay so uh, we can say it is a mistake or it is a bug in the source code so we are just going to make some logical mistakes in the source code then uh, this will lead to a logical error for example we can say assigning a value to the wrong variable that is when i am declaring a variable as integer okay so integer num and for this variable num i should assign a value and that should be of integer type value like i can assign value 2 for this variable num then it is correct not an issue but instead of assigning the value 2 to num variable which is of integer type i'm just replacing i mean uh, instead of 
uh, assigning this value, I am giving it as 2.1567. Okay, I am just assigning some floating values for integer type of data or integer type of variable. Then this will lead to a logical error. Okay, because here it is an integer variable. So for integer variable, I should assign only integer value. I cannot assign some other values here. So if I try to assign some other values to this data type, then I mean the, to this variable of integer data type, then this will lead to a logical error. Right. So now we'll see one example. Okay. So how a syntax error occur? If you look at this program, so inside main function, I have written print of statement and inside this print of statement, I have written hello. So whatever is written inside this print of statement, so this will be displayed as output to the user in the output screen. So now what will be displayed as output to the user? This hello that is inside this double quotes that will be printed as output. So hello will be displayed as output to the user but here you won't get hello as the output instead you will get a syntax error why because if you look carefully in this statement i didn't include semicolon at the end of the statement right so i just missed using semicolon here so when a semicolon is missed here then what happens it will lead to a syntax error so instead of giving output in the output screen what your compiler will do your compiler will send you that is give you a syntax error okay a semicolon is missing it will give you a syntax error and the next one is logical error in this program if you see here i'm using for loop okay so what is the use of for loop means when you want to print something repeatedly or when you want to process something a number of times okay so uh, then we can give those statements inside this for loop and here i just want to print this statement hello as output for three times so the condition i have given inside this for loop is the value zero to less than three which means zero time one time two time so totally three times so i'm just going to print this hello as output for three times Okay, so this is my condition I have given here and the program is for is written for printing the statement hello three times as output. Okay, so for that I am using this for loop and if I execute this program here I will be notified with logical error. Why? Because whenever I am using this for loop I should not use this semicolon at the end because I already mentioned whenever we are using semicolon it means that it is the end of that statement here this is not the end of the statement because your for loop is opening here only and it is closing here so you can see the curly braces open curly braces and close curly braces so this for loop is opening here and it is closing here which means here I should not use semicolon if I use semicolon what happens means instead of printing this value for three times this will get printed for only one time okay so instead of printing it for three times what will happen this will print the result for only one time if i'm using semicolon here because this statement ends here itself so what happens this won't uh, this reflection won't be here in the upcoming statements so here it will print this hello only once. This is what the logical error we are doing here. Okay, this is one kind of logical error. Then the second kind is, if you look at this program here, I just have declared a variable called result, which is of type integer. And coming to here, if you see here, what I'm doing, I'm going to assign some value to this result. And how I'm just assigning the value, I'm not directly assigning the value. Instead, I'm using an expression here. That is 5 divided by 0. So, you cannot give like this 5 divided by 0. Because 5 divided by 0, we are dividing this value by 0. Okay, which is not an acceptable one. If you give it is like 5 by 1, it is acceptable. If you give like 5 by 5, it is acceptable. But divide by 0 is not at all acceptable. 
right so you cannot divide a value by 0 which is a logical error here so when i'm doing divide by 0 it leads to a logical error so here it will not print the result instead it will show you the error that is logical error here okay so these are all the examples for syntax and logical errors thank you